Hello world, boyfriend back with another pickup video and I thought I should get this one out of the way for two reasons. One, the box is full again. You can see, ah, the box o games is full and secondly, uh, I think I'm tapped out as far as collecting goes until girlfriend and I go to Game On Expo, which is in Mesa, Arizona, I think, August 5th, 6th, and 7th. Uh, so my collecting has been a little light as of late, however I haven't done one in like a month so I have plenty of stuff to show today. Uh, but I plan on getting a bunch of stuff at the expo and so I thought I better show all this stuff off because I don't think I'm going to be doing anything until the expo. Ipso facto, here we go. Alright, so uh, where to begin? Okay, I recently uh, went back to Wisconsin where I'm from and uh, my buddy Sam who has a game store he uh, hooks me up every time I go back. It's great. And he made me a deal. He said, I, he said, go through all of like my sports games and stuff, pick out anything you need, and I'll give it to you for like a buck a piece. It doesn't matter the game, just a buck a piece. And so I was like, wow, that's freaking awesome. So I went through all of it, all of his stuff that he had, and Miraculously, all the stuff I needed, he had at least one copy that had like a perfect label on it. So that was really good. And uh, I picked up maybe, I wanna say, what is that, like 11 games there uh, for Super Nintendo. So let's uh, show those right away. First, we got uh, Hole in One Golf. Hole in One Golf. All right. Uh, MLBPA Baseball. I apologize, I haven't been really playing these games because they're sports games, so I don't really test them. Uh, NBA All-Star Challenge, a little LJN game. PGA Tour 96. Uh, PGA Tour Golf. Wheel of Fortune and Brandon this was your game, it's now mine. Thank you, Brandon. Always a pleasure to have someone donate a cart to the collection. I didn't really donate it, then I paid a dollar for it. But PVX, whatever that means, I got uh, Tecmo Super NBA Basketball from you. So thank you for that. Uh, I think the only game that I actually paid a little bit more, which wasn't a sports game, was uh, PTO2, which is Pacific Theater of Operations. Koei! Oh man, I have got to be getting to the end of the Koei games. How many are like, you know, I need to check because when I do get all the rest of the Koei games, I want to be able to say it. You know, you know what I mean. I want to say it. All right. Uh, oh, this is a good one. WrestleMania, the arcade game. Now, uh, I'm going to get to say it right now. Subset complete. This was the last uh, WWF game I needed. So, uh, knocked that subset out. Uh, World League Soccer. It's a really nice condition, too. Uh, and finally, Wheel of Fortune Deluxe Edition. So, I think I got both Wheel of Fortune games. I don't think there's any other ones. So, subset complete. Um, and then I did get a couple other things while I was at his store. Uh, one was I couldn't pass it up because he was also offering it for a buck, and that is WrestleMania 2000 for the N64. So I now have No Mercy and WrestleMania 2000, like the best games on the 64, uh, wrestling games. Um, and I love, uh, I love wrestling, you know? And I did get one other wrestling game, surprisingly, so I got three at his store, Jesus. I got WWF Betrayal, which, um, as you may or may not know, is a beat-em-up where you get to play as Stone Cold, The Rock, Triple H, or The Undertaker, and it's pretty fun, it's cool. I got it a while back on a, on a pickup video, way back when, and uh, it didn't work. Well, I found another one finally, and this one friggin' works, so I can finally play it. Very excited about that. And then finally, just as kind of a gift, Sam, gosh, he's so nice, thank you, Sam. Thank you so much for all this stuff. But just as a gift, he gave me uh, the original uh, Dig Dug on Atari 2600. Uh, in the box and sealed still sealed games how crazy is that so uh very cool i guess there's a little a little tear down here at the bottom but otherwise pretty good condition pretty good condition so thank you again sam and that was what i got when i went back to wisconsin uh let's do some 
I guess we'll do the rest of the Super Nintendo games. I haven't got any really crazy Super Nintendo games lately, but I have been knocking them out. Uh, I got this one with the manual, and that is Michael Andretti's IndyCar Challenge. So, racing game. And then, uh, I'm gonna make room here. Uh, got King Arthur's World, which I admit I haven't played, but it does say that it is compatible with the Super NES mouse, which is always cool. I like those games that uh, allow you to use the mouse. Uh, ooh, Mario is missing. And you know why this is important? Because this was the last Mario game that I needed for the Super Nintendo, which means subset complete. And one good turn deserves another. Super Street Fighter 2 was the last Street Fighter game I needed on the Super Nintendo. There's four. There's Street Fighter 2, what is it? Street Fighter 2 Turbo, uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2, and Super Street Fighter 2. So now I have them all subset complete. Uh, gosh, I don't know anything about this game. Spectre. Again, I'm sorry. I haven't had a lot of time to go through these. Um, uh, Breakthrough, which I believe was created by the same guy that created Tetris. It's got some some of those like Russian looking uh, ice cream cone building tops on the picture. So, and I think the box said that. Uh, and I also got Pink Goes to Hollywood, Pink Panther. I haven't played it, I'm sure it's not very good. Uh, Kawasaki Caribbean Challenge. Do you guys say Caribbean or Caribbean? I think it depends on the context. Because nobody says like Pirates of the Caribbean. You say Pirates of the Caribbean. But then other times I say Caribbean. Like uh, Kawasaki Caribbean Challenge. Doesn't sound right saying Caribbean Challenge, right? So is there a right way to say it or a wrong way? You tell me, internet. And I got Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. So I still need a couple more uh, Looney Tunes games. I think I need the Daffy Duck one, maybe Taz. Uh, Ro I might have Road Runners. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I can't say you know what now on that. Um, oh, and then I got uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. This was the final Mortal Kombat game I needed, which means subset complete. You know, it's kind of fun now that I'm getting towards the end of the Super Nintendo. Uh, collection. I mean, I still have like 200 plus left, but I'm starting to really knock out a lot of subsets and uh, it's kind of fun because it, when I only have like one or two games left in a subset, it's, I'll specifically go for those just to kind of knock them all out, right? So I've been putting off by an Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 forever and I finally thought, ah, let's just bite the bullet and get it over with. This next game, uh, was shown in an earlier video, so subscriber surprise number two, but I thought it bared repeating, um, if only because it's a friggin' Koei game, and that is uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 4 Wall of Fire. Now, this was a gift from Mega Matt, and he knows me too well. Uh, so, I actually, I, I'm really happy that I didn't have to spend any money on this game because it's a Koei game, and I think Koei games are just boring and I don't want to spend money on it. I would, I would buy 10 Wheel of Fortune Deluxe Editions before I bought a Koei game. Uh, a, a, you know, another Romance of the Three Kingdoms 4 Wall of Fire. So thank you again, Mega Matt. And then finally, I got some other stuff. Um, I did get another N64 game. I'm actually really looking forward to play this. I haven't had a chance yet, um, but I heard about it and I was like, that sounds awesome. And that is Mischief Makers on the N64. You guys know about this game? It's a 2D platformer on the 64. How cool is that? Obviously the 64 is kind of known for its 3D platformers. Um, kind of started the whole genre with Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time and Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong and all that crap. But uh, they actually had a 2D platformer on the system. So I'm kind of excited to check it out. Um, have you guys played it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, knocked off another Atari 2600 game I was looking for, Barnstorming. Everybody seems to love this game. Um, haven't got a chance to play it because it's such uh, an ordeal setting up the whole 2600 to play because you gotta do all this crap and then it's really finicky. So that doesn't come out too often, but when it does the next time, I will definitely play some Barnstorming. Uh, now this next game really took me by surprise. I didn't know what to expect. I kind of picked it up, 
was feeling like trying something new and it ended up being really fantastic in the end and that is Star Fox Command so I, I never hear anyone talk about this game it kind of just flew under the radar no pun intended uh, as far as Star Fox games go and I wanted to try it out now the thing you have to understand it is not the Star Fox game you're expecting if you're expecting anything like Star Fox on the SNES or the 64 it's not that it's not a, a on rails kind of shooter like that there is some um, shooter stuff, uh, but it's the range battles like you had where you would fight bosses and stuff. That's the only kind of flying you have in this game. Um, but it ends up, once you get past that, that it's not your traditional Star Fox game, it's awesome. So each level has kind of two parts to it. The first part is almost like a strategy game. I can't even believe I'm saying that I like a strategy game. But uh, you do this, you, you kind of place where you want the ships to go and you gotta cut off all the bad guys before they make it to your like mother ship, you know? Like you have like a good guy mother ship and they can't, if it, they make it to that, you get the game over. Uh, so you gotta stop all the bad guys. So you kind of strategically place all your fighters where you want them to go. Then the second part of the level is you go into these dogfight scenarios where you're taking out all these guys. And it ends up being really fun. The stylus, uh, I don't really like a lot of games that make heavy use of the stylus, but I think how they do it in this is really fun. And you only ever use one other button uh, to shoot. And that's it. So it's actually really, once you get the controls, it's really easy and really fun and addictive. And I would totally recommend it for anyone out there uh, looking for something a little bit different on the DS. Um, Star Fox Command, yeah. And then the creme de la creme. Uh, really excited about this pickup. Some of you may have already seen it on Instagram, but I am so excited to announce that I have uh, officially obtained a PlayStation Portable. That's right, I have made it all the way to the year 2004. Is that, uh, is that when it came out? I think it's when it came out. Um, yeah, I, I don't have a lot of newer systems aside from like the 3DS or the DS and uh, now I have a PSP. And actually I didn't even realize this was a special one. This is like a green uh, Metal Gear Solid one, was that it? It was like a special edition one. I, I don't know, you guys tell me. But um, it's a PSP 3000, which is the best uh, version of the original PSP. And I got that because when I was traveling to Wisconsin, I wanted to have some handheld games to play. And I'd been get, wanting to get a PSP for a while. And so I just decided to pull the trigger and kind of treat myself to a PSP. And I picked up uh, a few games with it. Oh, I forgot. I got one other thing in Wisconsin at Sam's store. I got, uh, had to get a UMD. I got Speed. Yeah, this is classic. I actually got this so I could watch it on the plane on the way home. Uh, and man, I love this movie. Freaking Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. Ah, oh, they were the best. I love that movie. Uh, but anyway, when I picked up the PSP, I got three games to go with it. So I want to get you guys' uh, thoughts on my starter kit that I've put together and maybe some suggestions for other PSP games to play. Uh, the first game I got had to get it, was Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. I love it. It's kind of a reimagining of Mega Man X 3D graphics, and they even changed some of the levels, at least as far as like where the power-ups and stuff are. So it makes it kind of challenging, because uh, like when you can't get the dash right away, whoa, does that affect how the rest of the game goes? Because I really rely on having the dash, and fighting bosses and stuff is way harder without it. And then when I finally found it, I was like, oh, jeez. Well, next time I'm gonna go straight to that right away. Uh, but anyway, love the game. You can also play as Vile, which I think is a really cool uh, addition. And, uh, oh, you can unlock a like 20 minute cartoon episode that plays as a prequel to this game. So, and it's awesome, it's really well done. So um, yeah, this is a great, great pickup. Very happy with that. Uh, and then I thought I would give this a try. I saw this on a lot of lists and it's God of War, Chains of Olympus. I've never played a God of War game before. Can you believe that? Uh, yeah, and um, I thought I would try this. Now, if I understand right, I think this is a prequel to the original God of War. I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I don't really know because it kind of, it seems like it ends and there's, it, it's, it's tipping its hat to like another game the way it ends. I don't know, but I've played it, I've beat it, um, and I like God of War. It's fun. It's very simple. It's kind of beat-em-up-y, if you will. Hack and slash, is that what they call it? 
And uh, yeah, had a, had a good time with this. I think there's another one on there, Ghosts of Sparta. Might pick that up to play it. What do you guys think? And then finally, I got uh, Metal Slug XX. I love Metal Slug games. Um, it's one of my favorite arcade. Whenever I show up into an arcade and they got Metal Slug, I'm set. That's all I would need if they didn't have anything else. Uh, but I was a little disappointed because I didn't realize this is just like a, another version of Metal Slug 7, which I already own on the DS. Had I known that, probably wouldn't have got this. Um, but nonetheless, you know, I guess if I'm only taking the PSP, I can always bring Metal Slug with me. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I will pick up the Metal Slug Anthology. They just didn't have it that day. So I, had, I wanted some, some sort of Metal Slug, and I got this one not knowing it was Metal Slug 7. But there is that. And that's it! Like I said, uh, Girlfriend and I will be going to the Game On Expo, so if any of you guys out there are going, come and say hi to us. We will be there uh, in some capacity. We're, we're, we'll probably be with um, Vintage Video Game Geek and uh, NES Complex and Retro Liberty, some combination of that. We're all kind of hanging out together. So uh, yeah, hope to see you guys there. And until next time, boyfriend out. Cow.